Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. I am thoroughly excited for today's session, folks, because we are finally going to participate in something that I've wanted to participate in for a very long time. Um, it's things never line up perfectly. It's it's always uh, you know one thing or the other. But there is a new community challenge that I am really glad that I can actually be a part of. Uh, it's honestly one of the well, one of my favorite aspects of the game is that community aspect of it. Uh, I, I wish community challenges happened more often. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think that, uh, that that would be really cool. A really cool way to you know get players working together towards a certain goal and, and what whatnot. I always love that kind of stuff. But typically, as you'll maybe remember, whenever a community challenge comes up, we're always just not in the right um, sort of uh, headspace for it. We're not in the right zone for it what have you however you want to phrase it um and, and we always have to skip out the last one we weren't able to partake in for uh, other reasons something else came in the way the one before that i believe we had to skip there was so many that we had to skip i think i've only participated in like three and whenever we do well in a community challenge uh you know we we get some pretty nice animals i mean just as a reminder folks we do have a uh, nile monitor um i believe it should be in our animal storage Oh, right, right, right. No, I need to undo the uh, the filter here. Sorry. Uh, we do have a Nile monitor and... Oh, interesting. I completely forgot we had you. Perfect. So we have a Nile monitor and a Nyala. These are both ideal for Elite Zoo South. If we can get more high quality animals from doing more challenges, I think that's super cool. Uh, and, and plus, it's again, it's something that we haven't really... Um, we haven't, you know, done enough of. So I really want to get involved in that. Uh, whoops on the completely wrong button there uh, the challenge itself is to breed quarter of a million bronze rated herbivores so it is relatively easy to accomplish i mean bronze rated right so it should be relatively easy to accomplish uh it's called eat your veggies every good dietitian knows you should always eat your vegetables the awesome herbivores in planet zoo are living proof of why work together this week to give them the spotlight by breeding bronze rated Herbivores. Now, 32% complete so far, four days left. I mean, hopefully the community can come together and we can actually accomplish this and, you know, get uh, get some progress. I personally want to try and finally contribute. I always feel kind of bad not being able to contribute without, you know, having to go away from Elitsu South or whatever it is we're currently tackling. Uh, uh, so so this, is, this is a nice opportunity for me. Now, it does bring a slight change in the plans I laid out last session. I hope y'all don't mind. Uh, I do try to stick to plans as often as possible, but between this, which came as a surprise to me, and the completely confusing, confusing, confusing situation over the weekend and having to record the extra long time lapse, uh, honestly, I, I was, even now as I'm recording this, I don't know what day it is. It is, I'm recording this on Wednesday, and you're watching this on Thursday, unless you're at like Pacific or Mountain Time, in which case you might still be watching it on Wednesday, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyway, I had my days completely confused. I had my streaming days completely confused. Everything uh, was uh, was was <laughs> thrown for a loop, and I apologize for that. Uh, but it does mean a slight, just the slightest change of plans uh, with regards to uh, today's uh, approach and the approach over the next handful of days. Uh, this is probably why I shouldn't mention my um, long-term plans, right? Um, not just that, by the way, I should also mention that our zoo is currently a bit of a mess. That zoom in was unintentional, but perfectly framed. Um, and by that, I don't mean that there's like a lot of major problems, uh, but there are a lot of minor problems that are coming together and bothering me, I should say. Bothering me in the sense that I don't like seeing animals in distress. I don't like seeing animals be unhappy. It is a game about managing a zoo. Um, and I feel like uh, I, I feel like we haven't done that in a long time. And the comments a handful of episodes ago uh, made that pretty clear um, that uh, folks are starting to feel that way. And uh, and I, I totally agree. I see where that uh, feeling is coming from. And so I want to rectify that today as well with doing a fairly heavy-handed um, management session is the hope. Now I <laughs> there are a couple of comments I've seen that uh, uh, swear against management sessions, and I understand. I understand. Uh, it's fun to have another build session, and it's fun to uh, get uh, a new animal in the zoo. But I'm trying to find that perfect balance 
uh, of making sure the animals we have are happy, which is a, you know, it's an important aspect of it, making sure the animals we have are happy, making sure the uh, enclosures are interesting, making sure we're adding new animals, uh, you know, as often as possible without costing our, uh, you know, reputation or... This tree is like smack dab in the middle of the path over here. Move you over, buddy. There we go. Uh, so, so they're just trying to balance a lot of different aspects. I hope y'all uh, understand, and I hope y'all enjoy. Um, again, uh, the, try, you, you can't please everybody, but I'm certainly trying. Uh, so today will largely be a management session. We'll also get to see how the koalas interact with the space we've laid out for them. Uh, wow, I see it now. Damn. I was going to say, a lot of you mentioned that you see a Furby. And I was like, I don't see it. I don't know what you're talking about, but no, now I see it. Oh no. The Furby stays. <laughs> the Furby stays. Unless I rotate where the feeding happens, which might fix the uh the the um the vision a little bit. The oh no, I cannot unsee it. God. Uh anyway, anyway, um I'm hoping we get to see uh, them enjoy the space a bit more. I'll try and get some more vegetation in and stuff as well. Just as a reminder, folks, I saw a lot of comments about this. The landscaping work is not done in this region at all. There's a lot more plants I'm going to add. There's a lot more I'm going to do. Uh, so we're nowhere near complete over here. Don't uh, don't think we're just going to have two trees and call it a day. Uh, I thought I thought I made that clear last session, but maybe not. My apologies, but uh, but yeah, that's uh, th th there's definitely still a lot of work to be done over here. Um, before we hit play, I just want to drop down a couple of donation bins and things like that so we're not missing out on financial gains. And then we're going to hit play, and there are there's so many things that need to be taken care of, like I was sort of alluding to earlier. Um, we have overpopulated enclosures. We've got, uh, let me just check the colors on this as well. We've got overpopulated enclosures. We've got unhappy animals because we haven't taken a look at their enrichment items in forever. Um, so there, there's a couple of issues that need solving, and while all that's happening, uh, we will be, you know, pressing on as well. We will be, you know, playing as opposed to paused, and that will allow us to hopefully breed uh, herbivores as well. They have to be bronze ranked, but I think we'll be okay on that front. I think we should be okay on that front because we, um, we have decent quality animals. I, honestly, I, I wish the uh, the timing was a little bit better uh, for us because I do believe we just had a bunch of. Uh, tortoises on sort of both fronts, so to speak, uh, Galapagos as well as Aldabra, and Aldabra Cadabra still, I'm never going to get over that, um, but yeah, so, so I don't know how long before they're going to have kids again, uh, which could be a problem for us, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how all that works out, I'm going to adjust these as well, I don't know if I'll do that today, but I do intend to adjust them soon, uh, let's go ahead and get uh, you down over here on the outside, and I'll probably want to get some, like, vendors and stuff down. There, there's so much, like, work to be done um, that we don't need to be paused for. Uh, so I, I feel like we're still going to make a lot of progress today. I call it a management session, but I feel like we're going to do more than just manage the existing and probably manage some development as well, right? Now let's go ahead and pick up some bins as well. We know these people are the true animals in the zoo. Uh, where is the Australia bin? Have I not put any of those down? Um, all right, let's. I, I really do like this New World bin probably best. The New World set is probably my favorite. Um, not gonna lie. Put you down over there. Put you down over here. Another one up over here. Let's go ahead and get you on the outside over here. Um, sure and sure. I mean, who knows, right? Who knows anymore with these people? Uh, I can go ahead and put a bin at every intersection as well, right in the middle. I don't. Uh, that makes sense, actually. I was going to say I don't like having bins in the middle, but it makes sense. It, it is it is a common sight to have bins in the middle of a path, you know, like recycling and, and garbage and whatnot. Uh, so put you over here. I mean, it's a pretty long journey. I'm going to have to have more bins, actually. You over here at the cardinal points. And you over here. It's also been pointed out to me that I should keep my eyes peeled for the koala birth-giving animation. Uh, apparently, it is also very adorable. Um, it's, it's been mentioned to me previously that uh, what would be accurate might be rather horrendous to look at. Um, even in a, even in a less, uh, you know, bloody form, I suppose. Or, or, or I should say in a less, um... Hmm. What's the right word I could use for this? <laughs> uh, visceral? I don't know. No, that's not the right word. 
anyway, I've, I've been told that the uh, the accurate uh, way it happens might be a, uh, might actually not be the way it happens in game. So I'm I'm curious to see that. Um, yeah, but I, I will keep an eye out for the notification. Let's put some bins up over here, and one up over here. Again, there's so much, so much to do. I'm so excited for this space, and I'm glad to see so many of y'all liked it as well. I was uh, well and truly nervous um, about about this space because it is such a departure from from my usual. Uh, so you know that 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 nervous excitement, I suppose, is the way to put it. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it sound like I was like dreading the reveal or anything like that. But I was definitely excited to see what people had to say. And uh, I'm personally pretty pleased with... Uh... Okay, this is way too many bins. <laughs> this is way too many bins. I'm personally quite pleased with uh, with how things have uh, have ended up. Um, so, glad to see uh, the reactions sort of mirror that, I guess, is, is the way to put it. There we go. That's, that's a bit more reasonable. And I can put one over here as well. Right? One of the things I still need to kind of, like, get my... Uh, my head on right about is distances and I actually struggle with this a lot in many contexts um, not just not just planet zoo uh, but I, I often lose my sense of scale even when a person is literally walking around you know right next to where I'm working I lose my sense of scale very easily um, and uh, when I start making enclosures too large or start making things too far away I definitely need to tone it down I, I'm, I'm getting back into old uh, bad habits as it were uh, and I need to—I definitely need to start like toning it down again, uh, reducing the size of some of these enclosures and whatnot. Okay, enough bins. I, I should do the education boards and then we can hit play. Um, where are we? Our blueprints. Uh, where are you? Having so many blueprints is now starting to starting to get my my way. What am I? What am I? What am I looking for? The education. There we go. Maybe you should have a better screen. Uh, you know, screenshot of that thumbnail for that one. All right, let's put you down over here, even lower you. Um, there we go. I was like, I know I pressed the right button. It just didn't work the first time when I pressed H. I'm gonna attach this to the, nah. Keep it out over here. I do want to try some decorative elements over here. The wooden logs didn't work, unfortunately, but something else might. Put you down over here, All right? And let's go ahead and rotate you as well. Feels a bit more legitimate if it's like rotated upwards like this as it would actually be. There we go. One over here. Set you up properly. No power, eh? Now we gotta handle some of that stuff as well. Definitely have to handle some of that stuff. Let's see what the power situation is over here. Just out of reach. Okay. Okay. Could put a solar panel down. I don't think a solar panel up over there is gonna do what I needed to. I could put another generator down somewhere up over here. That'll probably do the trick. Uh, let's see. Generator. No, transformer is what it's called. Sorry. Nope. A generator in disguise. Uh, yeah, that's like a huge radius. I mean, uh, the, the thing is, the um, wind turbines have a decent radius, but they also have a negative impact zone, and it's not a big enough radius to cover everything. So if we go with the transformer over here, close to the people, maybe... Maybe over here, if we can hide it well enough? I'm not sure. That might be all I need, though. What about the wind turbine? If I do a couple of wind turbines, it might work as well. Uh, I guess I could do a couple of wind turbines instead. One, two, three, four wind turbines? I don't know, that seems, that seems kind of funny to me. Uh, okay, transformer. Can I put you over here instead? And I zoom in a little bit to actually see you. There we go. Alright, so this is the angle we would need. Pop you down over here. I don't know why it stopped being compatible. There we go. What is going on here? Why are you not... There we go. Let's just pop that down. Sorry. I would have to nudge it closer. Uh, again, the radius is pretty large. Even with the decorative elements, it, gets, it stays pretty big. That's huge. And even if we reduce it all the way, yeah, that's 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 not gonna fly. Alright, fine. Wooden turbine it is. I think I can get away with just two on either end. We will still have to reduce its um impact radius, but it already starts relatively small. It shouldn't be too difficult to do. So one 
and two, this area is going to have a gap. We might want to put a transformer or something down over here eventually when that all gets set up. Are we good over here? Is this angle okay? I think so. Place you down over there and place you down over here. Yes. Let's check the uh, negative impact zones. Like, it's pretty chunky. You know, it's, it's pretty hefty. I mean, I could actually pull these guys back a little bit more. The, the center over here doesn't need power. I can pull you back a little more. Redo that. Go ahead and shift you back a little bit. One more step, maybe. Like so. And what does that do for the negative impact zone? Yeah, that's much better. Guess should never have to go over there. And you will move you one step as well. That does the trick, I would say. Powers this entire area. You should have... Yes, you okay, excellent. And do you have your education set as well? Yes, you do. Could change the volume a little bit. Let's drop that a touch. Like so. Now I should be able to... Copy you over. There we go. Next, this other donation bin as well. All right, almost done here. Almost ready to hit play. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to wait too long. Time spent in pause is time not breeding. Are you seriously? No power? Are you kidding me? Ugh. All right, fair enough. We're gonna have to um, put this from the group and move it separately. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. About like this. Closer. A bit closer potentially. And now it's got negative impact. Alright. Cancel that. We can move this over to the other side. I think that'll do the trick. Ugh. No. It's got to be all... What? How, how does that... Okay. What? I guess we're that off? Ease. Really makes you realize um, how off you you might be about some stuff, eh? The the, the difference in shape. All right, okay, okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Here's what we'll do instead. God, it does feel like the end of the world, doesn't it? I can always, I can always put another one down somewhere over here. We're going to have the uh, food stalls down over here. So, you know, why not, why not put a solar panel down over here? We can have a smaller thing over here. Free power as well, right? Uh, food is going to be over here. And I think I'd want to get the path down first. Go ahead and drop you right down, please. I don't know if that works. I don't want to rush things either. That's always expensive. That is always expensive. Put you over here. Flattening, so I don't know if um, that'll work for me. Probably not. No, it will not. Okay, okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Um, reduce your width a little bit. Align to grid. A little bit of overhang, that's fine by me. We're, we're going to do some fun stuff over here. For now, though, I just want to get that solar panel down. The edge over here works for me. I could even do this. Now, let's do this. Up over here, maybe? Sure. And get washrooms down over here and stuff as well. I've got plans for this space. I'm, I'm quite excited to execute them. I don't think the solar panel is going to be getting in our way or anything like that, so I'm okay with that. Go. Gotta rotate you a little bit, buddy. Of course. It'd be too easy now, can we? There we go. That does it. For now, at least. We can always adjust it later. This this, this is going to be uh, an interesting <laughs> challenge for me. Let's put it that way. All right, we're done here. You're good. Education is, yeah, decent. Decent. Go ahead and get it inside as well. Um, 
you and you. Copy you over. Over to here. Right. And then let's go ahead and get that same group now copied over to here. Oh, get you copied over to the other side as well. Right here. I want to increase the uh, radius of the speakers, actually. And we're up to 10. Let's get you up to 10 as well. Up over here. I don't think we'll be able to hit 10 over here. Oh, we will. Uh, a little bit of... That overlap is inside the enclosure, so it shouldn't cause us any trouble. And the last one over... There's no uh, power over here, though, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Now, hang on. Does the education board receive power from... No, it doesn't. Because, uh, like, heating and cooling gets power from the rest of the... Um, from the full enclosure, you don't have to have the whole area covered. Education boards clearly, though, do not. If I move you over to here, we're good. And get another one. It's good, actually. I prefer that now that I think about it, because then you can sit here and look at the animal without being um, interrupted, I guess. Without having your view interrupted, I mean. Go over here. here. Drop your volume a bit. Make sure there's no overlapping going on. Same here. And we'll take care of the outer ring later, I think. Because I don't think it's going to see much action right now. Not until we have, like, more animals and, and feeding spots and stuff. Okay, education, bins, donation done. Let's hit play. Let time move forward. And at the same time, we've got to take care of a bunch of things. Uh, like I said, we're, we're trying to manage some stuff. Uh, so hopefully we can get that done. I also need to fix this shape over here. And this shape over here as well. It's so funny, record, record like, pausing the game and recording time lapses between two uh, two days... Um, made me completely forget that I made this edit, but of course it was pointed out in the comments because, you know, it was one all one episode. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, definitely threw me off. Guests are coming through over here. Uh, hopefully they're having a good time. The koalas themselves need a little bit of enrichment. Uh, so, ooh, is this the... Habitat 22. Right, I need to get the name on here as well. Well, we'll do that as a part of the uh, beauty pass and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and get a keeper coming here, though. Shouldn't, shouldn't stay dirty. Facility broken down. Oh my god. Things everywhere. Ooh, about to mate. Good, good, good. Good. We need those babies. Alright, uh, over here. Did we solve the problem we were having? I don't think so. Right. That's a serious problem, too. Um, we have a lot of infertility here. Noah Lingu, Janali, and Yonga. I feel like we can rehome all three of them. That way we can bring in some new um, kangaroos and get them to breed, and, and I think that I think that would be better than just to have these guys kind of hopping around. Again, it's a rehome, so they're being taken somewhere safe where they will, you know, live out the rest of their days. Uh, we can't have these guys preventing us adding more to our uh, to our to our enclosure here. Let's rehome the three of you as much as it hurts to do. Always hurts to do. Owen, you are. Let's see. Are you able to mate with anybody who's in here right now? No and yes. Okay, but there is another male in here who is able to mate with more. Marley and Erica. Okay, so Nukuti gets to stay and Cohen here, even though he's the alpha, which is actually a problem for us, he is going to be taken to the trade center. We got decent stats if I recall correctly, so we'll, we'll trade him out. About to have some offspring over here. Well, you're not a you're not saltwater crocs aren't herbivores. <laughs> I know this. Yes, sir, up over here. Good, good, good. Yes, are coming through here. Humble nations yet. People are burning up over here as well. I should certainly uh, put down some cooling. Uh, right, that's under habitat. Old habits die hard. Old habits die hard. Let's go ahead and cool the entrance over here and of course we don't want to go down to like zero or anything but I think 25 is a fair temperature we want to make sure the koalas themselves are also happy there are such tiny little things I can barely tell where one of them is oh they're so cute 
Hunter, let's take a look at you, buddy. Oh, look at that. Just chilling on the tree. Just chilling on the tree. I love it. Oh, those cute little blinks. So adorable. But yeah, we have to give them enrichment and stuff as well. Let's not forget. And we have to get research going on them. Um, sorry. I meant to check a couple things on you. If I could select you. And not the tree that you're sitting on. There we go. The enrichment is what they need primarily. Everything else is fine. They have more than enough climbing, by the way. I saw many people mention they don't have enough climbing. Nah, we're, we're good there. Coverage we can do a lot of, so you can certainly expect that. That's why I've kind of got this whole garden thing going, because they're fine with that. Um, but yes, what was I hoping to do? I was hoping to get their enrichment items. Oh, right, and I was also hoping to check their temperatures. Sorry. A little scatterbrained right now, not going to lie. I'm just so nervous about accomplishing everything I want to accomplish, and also getting this video up on time. <laughs> Try to try to maintain the schedule as best as possible. Eight to forty-two. Yeah, we'll be fine. Putting these coolers down. And a couple more. Maybe one more over here. One more over here. Where did that one go? That was weird. And then one at the tip over here. To help cool the entire space down a little bit. Well, this is interesting. That's interesting. This is like the line of where it's colder. Why is it colder over here? Well, now it's because of the cooler, but this little line over here, you can see it's slightly lighter orange. Interesting. Not, it, it could partially be the shade. I also really like how the shade casts, by the way, just like the little strips of light coming through and stuff. To me, that adds to that layer and level of intimacy that I was talking about. Um, to me, that's, that's more interesting than uh, a solid shaded area. There's like a certain allure to it. But select all of you. Select all of you as well. And select all of you. Oh, and let's go ahead and push you down. There we go. Excellent. And let's go ahead and yes, get those enrichment items. Protesters have arrived. What are you protesting? Oh. We have a problem over here. I can assume. You guys are fine. Not over here, but over here. I assume... No. You're hungry and thirsty. Well, why haven't we had Airtaker come through here? Keep her on route. Okay. Hopefully that'll get solved soon. Low welfare up over here as well with the yellow anaconda. Social health is a problem. Oh, oh man. That's so cool. Um, Remedios is getting old, eh? Let's see if we can get one more baby out of Remedios over here. Or one more um, set of babies. Thirsty, hungry. Well, we've got keepers on route, so hopefully that'll get taken care of now. Hopefully. Habitat cleanliness. Simba Kiburi as well. Oh, is this a new thing now? Maybe I should just get some more keepers. Um, and again, as, as I mentioned, staff, it reminds me I have not forgotten about adding sponsor boards. We will still be doing that. We'll be doing that next session. We were going to do it this session, but uh, because of the slight change of plans, we'll be doing it next session instead yes yes okay um where was i enrichment for the koalas make sure they're having a quality time their own enclosure i do have a great name suggestion for this enclosure as well by the way i will be getting it in as soon as um as soon as i you know start capping things off over here for the koalas could use some of these pop this down over here if we can get them to come over here that'd be great um, we don't know anything about their food enrichment. We can give them some wind chimes as well. See, they're going to be eating over here, so all the enrichment and everything I want to happen elsewhere. Hmm. I want to make sure people aren't complaining about not being able to see the animal. Which is a common problem around these parts. Oh my god, you're so cute. I don't know why you teleported, but I'm glad you... Oh, look at that. What are you doing? Oh... Oh my god. I'm losing it, folks. Are you kidding me? They're so cute. They're so cute. Alright, we gotta get some, like, food and stuff over here. Um, Alright, so are they now feeling a bit better about their enrichment? We have mating about to happen among the red kangaroo. Good. Uh, boy, yes. Food, no, of course. But with food, unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, 
we have to get some vet research going. Some progress made over here on the Aldabra Giant Tortoise. Great. Let's go ahead and get Ashley here working on the Koala. There we go. Cool. Might want to actually train up some of our staff as well. It's been a while since we've done that. Again, uh, we've neglected management for a fair bit of time. Um, and that's why I feel really uh, bad about... Oh, I feel really bad about that. I feel like it's also why a lot of our keepers are falling behind. It's a lot of uh, why a lot of the uh, tasks that need doing are falling behind. And and I, I need to hire more staff as well. That's another part of the whole, um, you know, management thing. Lowell for among... You got, I mean, I literally just checked them. I should have known this was going to happen. Part of me did. Deep down inside, part of me did. Go ahead and get you. Is it really all guys in here? Oh, it is. Huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves, not an animal, but exhibit. We have a female titan beetle in here. Yes, we do. Bring you in here. What else has you unhappy? Cleanliness. All right, time to get some more keepers. It's weird though. Like we haven't added anything to. Uh... Oh, you know what? I guess the Africa Africa region so far parts of it are quote unquote South America. I, I guess that's what's happening. All right, money is looking kind of tight. That's another reason to hit play for a little bit. Make sure money comes back up because that is actually concerning. How quickly it's dropping right now. While we have to hire some more staff as well. Whoa! Listen, bud. Nice try, nice try. Look at them getting right to work. Good for you. Trying to get away from me? I don't think so. There we go. Cool. Um, I could give them work zones as well. My pay is fair. I agree. South America is a place that seems to be having all the trouble. Got one guy without a work zone. I'm kind of wondering if I should experiment with that or not. I could also experiment with, like, the jobs they, they have to do, but we've got... I mean, honestly, we've got a variety of troubles. Protesters on their way out. Good stuff. That might be part of the reason why money dropped. Wow, that is actually a huge drop in money. That is huge. The reason why I think that might be part of the problem is that... Um, Protesters make guests unhappy, so they might have been asking for refunds and stuff like that. Uh, so that that was my concern there. All right, staff, who has your caretaker? Caretakers with no work zone, I'm okay with that. Keeper with no work zone. There you are. Missy McLean, South America. Hopefully that does the trick. Because, yeah, it was, you know, technically right now, even though these guys are from Africa, I have them in the South America zone to make it easier to manage. Uh, so we have to just adjust for that, obviously. Um, even though I completely forgot to do that. All right, looks like we're getting some good crowds over here. Yeah, donations coming through. Excellent, excellent. What over here? Yep, a little bit of money coming through. Good. Again, guests will come up over here when there's, like, food and drink and stuff like that. Part of me is actually tempted to... Well, there's still such a, it's such a long way to go. That's what I mean when I say, like, I start to lose track of distances. Um, what I'll probably do is we have two more animals and then some exhibit animals to add as well. Probably add the exhibits at the end and the two other animals on either side. Something like that might be an interesting way to do it. And then we have, of course, the transition to the Africa zone. Because South America is about yay big. Australia is already roughly about the same size. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. With just two animals versus how many? Mm, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll do uh, we'll do the remaining two animals flanking on either side, or we do them both down over here in this area. That might be nice. And then the exhibits up over here, uh, and that way we'll actually get guests to come through on the outer ring. I think I think that's necessary. All right, down over here. Let's go ahead and pick out some high quality uh, food spots. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get a. Um, coffee because you know all the tea coffee it's you, 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 you know what I'm getting at you know what I'm getting at and again I want to try and make this space look or feel something like a I don't know if I want to say restaurant or what but you know uh, a more formal ish establishment is what I have in mind uh, so we'll see if I'm able to pull that off 
We'll see if I'm able to pull that off. Maybe, hopefully. I'm also going to change the path. The, the path itself doesn't matter because we're going to cover it. Uh, and we're going to build a little... I don't want to say building. It's not It's not going to be a building, but we're going to build a space over here. So we got Sweet Fox Coffee over here. Let's go ahead and get uh, some food as well. Um, how about some... How about some... Chief Beef action going on over here. Pop you down. We could always have water in the area as well. Pipshot water. Constant source of income for us. Um, we get a gulpy energy as well. Or you know what, actually, a uh, cosmic cosmic koala milkshakes. We don't have milkshakes, do we? Go ahead and get you. And how about a, uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I need to take care of this stuff as well. Stop, stop, stop. A lot to take care of. In fact, we could probably send you into, um... Nah, it's good to have a good number of, uh... Of, of lines and stuff for their popularity and all that. Um, what was I? These glow? I didn't know that. Oh, that's so, that's so good. Wow, that actually... I like that a lot. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice that was a thing. Uh, okay, sorry, where was I? Right, up over here. These guys have been established. What else? What else? Oh, you know what? We don't have a guest information center. Let's go ahead and get that. Go ahead and get that. Align you properly here. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. You're working fine right up until now. Oh. Exit the group then. It'll fit. It'll fit. And actually, nudge it forward a little bit. Whoops. Undo, redo, all that jazz. That's a little annoying, but we're okay. We're okay. Up over here. Shouldn't have got distracted by the uh, animals that were literally inbreeding, I guess. <laughs> A bit further up. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Sure, good for you. All right. Guests are coming through now. We could also put some more eating spots up over there. Um, my hope was to put them down over here. We can find some good spots for them. One, two, and three. Again, trying to keep some distance. It's supposed to be, you know, intimate kind of a thing. Uh, wow. Who gets to say Batara? And... Damn, I forgot the name. Was it Utama? I think so. Batara's getting old, though. Batara's getting old. Pretty soon we'll need a replacement male. It's okay. Batara stays until the end. I think I've already mentioned my attachment to that name before. Uh, okay, so we're fine over here. Money, though. Money? Money we're not fine for. Um, finances. So, I mean, those are some hefty refunds, sure, but... Where? Wow, just income dropped, I guess. When guests are unhappy, they're less likely to donate, so that's got to be part of the problem. I suspect... Back there's litter somewhere or something along those lines. Causing us some issues, maybe. On a ramp somewhere especially. No, looks like guests are all okay over here. All okay over here. All is well. Okay. Maybe it's just that by the time they get over here, they're hungry and thirsty and otherwise unhappy. Guest needs. Why are, what's going on? Why are you stuck over here? How did you even get up there? How did you even get up there? I understand there's a path here, but you're not supposed to be able to access that. There's literally no connection. Interesting. Okay, we've got some unhappy guests over here. Why? They're... Unhappy. They're just unhappy. They're a little hungry. Everything, recent thoughts are all good. What did, did you cross through some litter or 
Yeah, we gotta work on this guest happiness situation. That's that's definitely hurting us a lot. I do not like where our money is right now, I'm not gonna lie. Nothing interesting to see here. I... I get out. <laughs> Leave the zoo. Nothing interesting to see here. Why are you guys unhappy? Not too much time walking. Okay. Saw some protesters. Yeah, I think a lot of people are upset at the protesters, and a lot of people are upset at walking too much. I mean, gee, if you take the ride over to here from the entrance. I mean, if you've walked all the way to here, then you're tired, but I guess if I put some more benches down? Is that what that complaint is? Nope. 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 Done. Might be a matter of benches. Oh, I'll keep her over here. Vet research complete. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, but yeah, okay, that, uh, that's a problem. Got some benches over here. I guess that's not good enough. We've got a bunch of benches over here. So this, this area shouldn't be the problem. We got so many benches. We got picnic tables. We got everything. This, 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 this area shouldn't be the issue. Okay. Happy. Keep moving on over here. We've got some benches over here. I've seen guests use them. Right, so that, that shouldn't be the problem. And I guess we're getting to a point where we have so many more guests than we have... That we have so many guests. You know? That uh, a handful of benches here and there just won't do the trick. So fair enough. Hit you as well. So... Really hope this does the trick. Complaining about no oh, seating, it's weird. Like in, in this area especially, we've like I feel almost like well, clearly I was wrong. But I felt almost as though we'd overdone the benches. You know? Let me duplicate you over there. Go over here. See if guests start to use it a bit more. A lot of benches looking at um Oh, I'm so glad we caught that. We always manage to catch the uh, the jumps, eh? I love it. Now, have we managed to contribute anything to this challenge yet? Nothing. We got nothing so far. Come on, Llama's not giving me babies. Come on now. Got infertility. You're on contraceptives. You're also infertile. That's why. That's probably why. Okay, that's a yeah. That's a fair reason. Cusco, Alanta, Umak. We'll keep Kuzco because I know I know it's a fan favorite. Okay, rehome all of you. Do more female. Liana, I assume can't have uh, babies with anybody for fear of inbreeding. Fine there. Or well, right, they uh, they mate for life, right? Monogamy. Well, then who's your mate? None. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the contraceptives. Looks like we have options except for there is no current mate. Do all the other males have uh, have mates? Interesting. I'm curious as to what's going on there. Um. This is also not good. Finances, finances, not vet research. Marketing is not that much of a cost. You know, this is actually a problem. This is actually a bit of a problem. We don't start seeing, I mean, much as I want to be super engaged in the challenge, if we don't start seeing some progress over here, this is a... Uh, Nothing for us to be worried about. Yeah, are they just not going to look for mates because they've previously... See, it says animals with existing mates can't, whatever, mate with anybody else. Fair. But if I look under current mate, I get none. Let's try something here. Alak Sumak. I try not to do this, but over to the Trade Center. Right. Over to our trade center and get 
Well, first of all, let's go ahead and rearrange you so it's um, llamas only. Go ahead and bring you back over here. We'll see if that uh, changes our current mate. Oh, look at this crowd. A lot of people. All right, continue investigating. Well, hold on. We need to be managing the animals as well. Unhappy animals also means uh, guests are less likely to donate. Not underestimate that issue, right? There we are. How are you feeling? Boy enrichment is a little low. Not the end of the world. Is it because of quantity or quality? You're bored of the large ball and of the sprinklers. Well, the sprinklers aren't really their thing. That's just cooling outside. Um, alt water crocs. One of these down. That should do the trick. I feel like the wrong one to check. I should check on an adult. Because, uh, newborns, they might, um, they might, uh, yeah, we'll get for them, anything might be fresh, right? So they're they're hard to, to judge. Uh, okay, so that's good there. The kangaroos, how are y'all feeling? I can find one of you. There you are. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good? Toy enrichment? Nah, you're bored. Bored of these toys. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of you. Sprinkler. Thought I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Get rid of you. Kangaroos, the large ball, never go wrong with that. Does that do the trick? Offspring due December of year 68, that's later this year, good stuff. Good, that does do the trick. Okay, wonderful. Succeeded in some challenge somewhere. Oh hey, what do you know? We just had four animals born that uh, fit the bill. A red-eyed tree frog? No. They count? No way. Really? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain, but I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. All right, so kangaroos, koalas, crocs taken care of, the llamas. Where is our new old llama? Adanya has had offspring as well. That has... Or was that what helped our... Um, our, 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 our accomplishments? Um, all right, where are we? What was her name? There we go. Alak Sumak. Now we have lost the uh, the lock. Yeah, that's weird. As long as you don't hook up with Yanta. Yanta. I wish I could click a button here to find Yanta. Come on now. Yanta, Yanta, Yanta. Where you at? Or you have an eight. Not. I want to put you on contraceptives with this quality of genetics. Do you have a mate? You do not have a mate either. Are you able to mate with anybody? You are, yes. So Yana we should send to the uh, trade center as well and unlock her uh, mating. So weird to me. Actually, is Suyana even right age? Yeah, okay. Sure. Go ahead and send you to the Trade Center. Again, I don't necessarily like doing it that way, but I guess we have to. I guess we have to. Suyana, move you back in over here. Cool. Now, actually, how do these animals feel about their enrichment is what I originally came here to check. Oh, looks like we do have some babies coming. Nice. April of year 70. Almost. Enrichment. These guys are super happy. Excellent. I was happy to see that. What about a capuchin? I found this buddy up over here. Bored of their toys. No surprise. We've had the same toys for a while. Go ahead and add the mobile. Are you playing with this right now? Can I get rid of this? Are you good? You okay? I'm about to get rid of this. Well, it's gone now. It's gone now. Capuchin. Not facilities. Capuchin. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get them the mirror mobile. Buddy's oh, sleeping up over here. Let's try and put this up over here then. Cool. Let's get this small, colorful ball down over here. 
Alright, cool. That that must have done the trick, I suspect. Over the ice block. Over here. Come on. Gone. And that's that taken care of. What else have we got over here? These guys. You guys bored of your toys? Not that I can click on you. You're too young. Gotta select the older ones to make sure that they are... Because they're, they're typically going to have... They've, they've had more time with the toys, so they're more likely to be bored of the toys. They're not bored just quite yet. I checked the adult. They're not bored just quite yet. I believe they share toys. Actually, no, I don't think they do. Those are the birds tape here. Where's the anteater adult? Have they actually separated into their own corners? We've got the anteater over here, and the tape here is over here. That's pretty cool if that's the case. Right, easier way to select animals. We need to do something about this. We gotta get a male in here. Oh, let me select the. Come on. Don't want the bush. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, enrichment? Yeah, you're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a male anteater. And money's not looking good. Might need to spend more time uh, on management stuff. <laughs> we went from 200 or something to 155. Yikes. Not about to drop money on a new animal right now. Going to still disease risk over here. Have it. Get, get a keeper in here. That research complete. Okay, so Jan is expecting offspring. Okay, koala. That's some initial koala research done. Good, good, good. Um. I always say hello to some people. Why am I always visiting my own zoo? <laughs> go out there and explore the world. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we could check on the Galapagos giant tortoises and the jaguars as well. A little nervous about all this buying and selling right now, not gonna lie. You guys happy? Tell me you're happy. Happy enough. 85%. Yeah, that's good. Up over here. These tortoises. Board. All sorts of board. Okay. One over here. Where are the others? There we go. Go ahead and get rid of both of you. Come on now. There we go. This one as well. Flap the uh, ghosts. Ball over here, maybe. Perhaps a sprinkler over here. Again, we gotta spread it out, right? Make sure the, the enrichment is spread around. And one fruit spike tree is clearly not enough. Go and get them some other food items as well. A dog ball, perhaps, in the middle over here. And a block of frozen fruit over here. There. Food is, like, evenly spread out. <laughs> so they're able to get their, their food wherever they need. These guys are hopefully still happy. I mean, we just got them. Just got them. Really, you're bored as well. All right. This thing is a mess. Get rid of you. Yeah, staff haven't come here in a very long time. Get rid of you as well. That is obviously a problem. Small, colorful ball. Boring. Right. Ow. There we go. Staff has finally arrived. A dog ball up over here. Get a fruit spike tree up over here. And we can look at their toys as well. Small ice ball enrichment item. Now let's get the sprinkler over here. Hopefully that does the trick. Good-ish. Good-ish. Need more food enrichment. That's just a matter of quantity. They've got so many, um... There's so many of them. Yeah. Down to 160 now. Alright. Money's a problem. Officially, money is a problem now. I need to figure this out. Finances about to inbreed. Unacceptable, obviously. Don't do that. Thank you very much. What's our situation with this community challenge? So that four. Fair enough. Currently, this is disease risk. Man, just get everybody here. The keeper came through, didn't clean the space. Oh, it's the water, right? I keep forgetting that I forgot. It's the water. Yikes. Uh, where is the... I wish it was a different warning, but that's on me. That's on me. Uh, facilities. Da, da, da. Water treatment. Obviously need to keep it away from the guests. I even spoke about this 
last session, I think. But then because of the split recording situation, uh, like the multiple days, it completely slipped my mind. Uh, okay, so we can actually tuck this away over here. Hide it up over here somewhere. That way guests don't have to, like, experience it. We can hide it behind, like, some, uh, some plants and whatnot. Negative impact area. Just enters the space. Let's try this. For now, temporarily, temporarily, if I go ahead and get, um, Scavola bush over here, here, helps the scenery a little bit, doesn't help the radius all that much, you know, let's just, let's just push it back. Back a step. Path can act up over there. Still too far up, is it? No, it's not. We're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this into a staff path only. And again, we'll 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 do the uh, the gardening here properly later on back a little bit so it's a bit more believable <laughs> and that should finally take care of the water situation yes wow we'll need another one up over here as well for all this uh, water that needs cleaning we'll need cleaning all right cool well guests are happy now i don't i don't think the water treatment had anything to do with it but guests are happy so yay i'm happy okay good stuff keep checking that habitat cleanliness hopefully it'll be gone soon and find accessible research center. I mean, that's because we only have, yeah, the one um, research center. I don't think I want to spend the money to build another one right now. I'm not going to lie. Until money's back up around 200k, I'm going to be really conservative with my with my money. We went from 200, if I'm not mistaken, from 200 down to 160. That is a serious problem. 351, 397. It is August. All right. Okay. What about up over here? 71 and you just got some. 200. We're making some money up over there. What are we looking over here? 102. 517. 1,000. Okay, okay. We are still making money on these guys. Good stuff. 163k. I'm trying to really figure out what I need to uh, dial in over here. Refunds. 3,000 in refunds. Unhappy with visit. Unfairly ejected. Do you mean you were a pickpocket and we caught you? Is that what you mean? Because that's a very different thing. Which actually reminds me, maybe we need more security. Got decent coverage. Got decent coverage. This area will need some cameras. Fair enough. Down over here, we're good. Yeah. This area will need some cameras as well. Go ahead and... Get you... Set up over here. Align to surface, please. I think we, um... I'm gonna be honest, I think we spent too much time away from management. And I think that's why we're kind of in this position right now where I'm I feel like I'm playing catch up on management, which I don't like. Because that can be that can be the end of this franchise. Well, not this franchise, but this zoo sooner than anything else. So if we don't get a new animal, not the end of the world. If we're not making any money, kind of the end of the world. We're looking okay again, though. We're, we're getting close to that 170 mark again, so that's promising. I think guest happiness was a key part of it. Uh, rather, I should say, I, I think guest happiness was the issue. So, hopefully that issue is now gone. Here. Right, that's why. I was like, why, why did I not have to rotate it? Where are you exactly? Right. I knew a couple things felt off about that place, but there we go. A bit more security over here. Feels a little weird having security right over here where you're, like, grabbing food, but I guess, uh... 
might actually be not such a bad idea. Right up over here. Oh. Alright, 167, okay. We need power over here, actually. We'll, we'll get that soon enough. I'm not too concerned about that, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Once we get power over there, I'm sure we'll be fine. I also gotta do a lighting pass. Also desperately need to do a lighting pass. I mean, certain parts of the zoo have some lighting. Still kind of dark, still kind of dark, but uh, some parts are basically, like, unlit, you know? Completely unlit. I guess they're able to buy their umbrellas and stuff up over here. Are they visiting the space? They are indeed. Build some nice canopies and coverings for them and stuff like that as well over here. All right, we're looking up at 168. Money's, money's on its way back up. Okay. It was definitely the unhappy guests, and I think we've tackled that issue, which is promising. We have managed to... Um, Read what, four animals? Hopefully we'll get a few more in our next session as well. We'd very much like to do that. We did enrichment management across the board. We took care of inbreeding. We also took care of our llamas not being able to breed, uh, which was a bigger problem than I'd realized. So I would I would deem this a fairly successful and... Look at that. Alex Sumak, already expecting offspring. Wonderful. Suyana as well. That's all we needed to do. That's all we needed to do. Wish I'd done that sooner. It is what it is. But folks, what I was saying was, I feel like this was a fairly productive and successful um, management session. We got a fair bit done. We established a few new spots as well, for which I will need your name suggestions. So don't hesitate to drop in name suggestions for an info center, a cosmic cow milkshake, a pip shot water, a chief beef, and a street fox coffee uh, that fits the koala theme. Apart from that, though, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a session today. Next recording will allow us to maybe breed some more animals, though we will be mixing it in with a time lapse as well. Very excited for that one as well. I think we'll try and do a bit of a lighting pass, which is part of the reason why I wanted to pause when it's still dark. Do a bit of a lighting pass while we also add in some of our sponsor boards and all that jazz. Uh, it should be a fun time. And then later on again, we'll be coming back to hopefully complete this space uh, and complete a couple of spaces. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. I'm very happy with how much progress we made. And again, got to check out the animals again. We haven't just looked at the animals in so long. You know, we haven't just sat down and just enjoyed our lions frolicking or our llamas um, lamenting on their mating being locked. Yeah, yeah sure, I'll stick with that. I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it felt nice to just even, you know, just come down, even if it was momentarily for each animal, to look at them and see how they're feeling and, uh, and just, you know, make sure they're still okay. Like, we haven't seen the monkeys in so long, you know, until today. Uh, it was nice to catch one using the, uh, the climbing space and stuff like that, so definitely pleased with our progress. And look, oh man, I keep forgetting how beautiful this space looks. I'm so pleased with this space. And here, we still need to get ourselves a male... Ant eater, right? Let's let's see if we can't do that. Let's see if we can't get that as our last little like capping off point. Need a male ant eater. No luck. No luck. She's getting old as well, Adriana. She's getting quite old. Who is our child though? You had offspring. Katarina. Ah, so we'll still need a male. But at least we have Katarina, who's currently hiding. There we go. Only bronze, eh? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Not not like mommy, but that's okay. Folks, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all definitely know the drill by now. As always... A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.